either. So the exercise is this. There have been 60 seasons played in the last 30 years between Mississippi State and Ole Miss. What are the 10 best seasons? Now, hey, Dad, do we need to go, like, 1 through 10 on this? Or do we need to say these are the 10 best, sort them out? Oh, I, I ranked mine. Okay. Um, what if we do it this way? What, what if we start by you giving me all of the seasons that you have under consideration for Mississippi State for top 10 okay. of the last 30 years, and then I'll give you the ones that mm-hmm. I've got for Ole Miss, and then we'll decide how they should be ordered. Okay. Uh, for State, I have 99. 2014, 98, and 2010. All right, so 99, 10-2, and mm-hmm. two, SEC championship game appearance, Peach Bowl win. No, wrong. What? They didn't play in the SEC championship that year. No. What year did State go to the title game? Is that 98? year before? 98, yes, yes. Oh, better overall record, didn't make the title game in 98. Right, right. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No so 98, 8-5, eight and five, SEC championship game appearance, lost to Tennessee, played Texas in the Cotton Bowl, lost to Ricky Williams in Texas in the Cotton Bowl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 99 team went 10-2 and two and had a Peach Bowl win over Clemson. Clemson? Yep. It's Michael okay. Borky's favorite Mississippi State team. It is. 2014, I don't know if you know this or not, but Mississippi State was the first ever team that was ranked number one in the college football playoff poll. I did know that. Team finished 10-3, and 10-2 and two in the regular season, lost to Georgia Tech in the Orange Bowl. Mm-hmm. And then what was the other one you had? 2010. 9-4. and four. That was year two for Dan Mullen? Correct. Year two for Dan Mullen. Nine and four, win in the Gator Bowl. Got to as high as number 15 that year. All right, I want to ask you about a couple of seasons that you did not include. Sure. Um, Last year's team that went nine and four? Yeah, they're an honorable mention. I mean, but... That team, they had a bad loss to Kentucky. Uh, I mean, up, going up into the Egg Bowl, they they would they would never have been in the discussion. But they win the Egg Bowl, and that kind of puts them in. And then they win the bowl game. Okay. Um, Twenty seventeen, Dan Mullins last year. That was a nine win team. They got their ninth win in the Tax Slayer Bowl. Played really well in yeah. that game. Ranked yeah. as high in the college football playoff poll as fourteen that season. Mm-hmm. Finished, I think, seventeenth that year. Um, they were they were my first cut. They they would be eleven if I had an eleventh team. Twenty fifteen nine win season beat what NC State in the Belt Bowl. Yes, Dax last year. Interesting fact though, State goes four and four in the league that year. They finished sixth in the West at four and four. What a year for the West that was. Uh, and that team finished unranked as well. So. Um. What about the 94 team? Jackie Sherrill coach team, won eight games, went to the Peach Bowl, and I believe lost to North Carolina in that game. Is that right? North Carolina State that year. North Carolina State. Okay. Gotcha. They lost to North Carolina in the 92 Peach Bowl. Really? Yeah. That was the first year of the Georgia Dome. I believe that's correct, yes. Okay. There we go. All right, so those are the contenders for Mississippi State from Hey Dad's list. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm just going to do these um, in order. Okay. 1992 Ole Miss finished the regular season eight and three. That was the game that had the stand at the end of the Egg Bowl, cold, spitting snow in '92, so, and then Ole so Miss went on to the. That's your number seven team, right? You said you had seven teams. No, no, I'm just doing them in, in going back to 1992 and working my way forward. Okay, I got you. I got you. I'm just I'm you. just going to give you the the seven that I've got. Okay, ninety two so, is on so, my list. Yeah, um, Billy Brewer, Liberty Bowl win. Mm-hmm. Ninety nine, 
Uh, Independence Bowl yeah. win, David Cutcliffe. That was an eight and four team. Probably mm-hmm. not making the cut, but just one that was there. Yeah. 2003, 10 and three mm-hmm. season, Eli Manning's senior year. If they beat LSU, they win the West. They did not beat LSU. They did not win the West. Uh, they did win the Cotton Bowl. Beat, uh, beat Texas Tech in the Cotton mm-hmm. Bowl that year. Um, On my list. 2008. That was a 9-4 and four Ole Miss team that won the Cotton Bowl over Texas Tech. Highest ranking that season was 14. Mm-hmm. I actually want to – On my list. I want to come back and talk about that team. 2014, 9-4, okay. and four, ranked as high as number three. Um, beat Mississippi State in the Egg Bowl, but then lost to TCU in the Peach Bowl, and it was not close. They're on my list, though. 2015, 10-3 team. Ranked as high as third in the country uh, in the AP poll. That Hugh Freeze team won the Sugar Bowl. Um, mm-hmm. They had a chance to uh, to play in the SEC championship game that year, didn't they? I think. They had a chance. Can't remember what happened. They, they, uh, they beat Alabama. <laughs> they beat Alabama, Auburn, and LSU. Mm-hmm. And, and, did not, and Mississippi State, and did not go to the SEC championship. That's a true statement. Tough. And then the 2021 team, two years ago, 10-3 okay. team, obviously it finished on a sour note with the loss in the Sugar Bowl. So. Right. So I have six of those seven on my list. The, the, the 99 team didn't make my list. Yeah. And, and the 99 team would be my first cut also. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so so you you rank them one through ten. Mm-hmm. What's your number one overall? Twenty fifteen Ole Miss. Okay. Winning the Sugar Bowl, ten wins. What did they finish ranked? I don't know if you said. Had to be top ten. They were ranked as high as third in the uh, as number three in the country. Uh, they finished ten. They uh, they finished number ten in the yeah. AP poll. And number 12 that, in the college football correct, playoff final poll. If I'm correct, 10th would be the highest of any of these teams to have finished. So that that's my number one. Okay. Who's dead? Who, what's number 10? 92 Ole Miss. Nine and th- I'd forgotten that team went nine and three. Yeah. I agree with you on the uh, – on the 2015 as being the, the number one overall. Mm-hmm. Number two for you is who? Well, why don't we talk about that when we come back from this break? Isn't that a tease there? He's wow. learning. Oh, the turntables. Sports Talk Mississippi with you. Um, we've got 2015 Ole Miss as the number one team on the list. We've got 1992 Ole Miss as the number 10 team on the list. So we got to fill in two through nine. You want me to tell you who I've got for number two, or do you want to you want to go first? I went first the last time, so you go first here. I have 1999 Mississippi State. That's who I have. A a 10 and two Mississippi State. Agreeing with each other. I got a wrinkle in a second that I think is going to cause some, I don't know. Um, 10 and 2, 6 and 2 in the conference, ranked as high as 8 during the season, finished the year ranked 13th nationally, won the Peach Bowl, probably Jackie Sherrill's best coaching job in his tenure at Mississippi yeah. State. And Joe Lee Dunn's. That was the nation's number one defense. Ah, there you go. There you go. Who uh, who have you got as number three? I have 2014 Mississippi State. Hmm. That, that was the hmm of well, that's not who I have. No, it's not. I've I've got them slated at five. And here's okay. the thing: I think the Orange Bowl performance left such a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. For for that particular team, that it was just like I, I don't know how to get past that. 
I don't know how you could um, taste anything after that Peach Bowl performance earlier in the day. Yeah. I have the 2014 Ole Miss well, team ranked well below that 2014 Mississippi State team as well. I've got I just 2003 look at it in terms Ole Miss of, at, at number three. That's fair. I don't. I mean, I don't. I see where you're going. I just see you know a team that was number one in the nation for for four weeks. The problem is they don't have anything to show for it. They didn't even win the Egg Bowl. Right. I mean, from number one in the nation to lose the final two times we see them that year, I don't see how that yeah, can be the third best team in this thirty-year window. Um, I get what you're saying. Uh, who do you have as number four? Twenty twenty-one Ole Miss. They could have been number uh, number one. If they had uh, won the Sugar Bowl. Could have been. Absolutely, could have been. I have twenty twenty-one Ole Miss at been... number six. That's surprising. I'm interested to hear the rest of your, your your take now. All right, let, let me go back to my number four. And this is the one that a lot of people are going to be like, whoa, 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 hold on a second, Richard. Because I'm taking a little bit of liberty here. I went 2008 okay. Ole Miss as number four. So okay. that was Houston Nuts' first year. And that team kind of sputtered out of the gates. That's I don't Vanderbilt. know that. I don't know that there is a team, Ole Miss or Mississippi State, in the this 30-year window, this 60 seasons of football, that played better football in the final month of the season plus the postseason than that Ole Miss team did. Jevin Sneed was playing at a high level. Everything they were doing offensively was working. Defensively, they were mauling people. And that was the team that went to the Cotton Bowl and faced that Texas Tech team that was Wait, You're wrong. Was, oh, was that, that Texas ne- Tech or was that Okay, so we, no, we no, got no. it wrong on two thousand three. We were wrong yeah. on two thousand three earlier. Okay. Yeah, two thousand three was Oklahoma They State? lost to Texas Tech in the regular season, but they beat Oklahoma State in the Cotton Bowl. That's right. Beat Oklahoma State in the Cotton Bowl, my apologies. The two thousand eight Texas Tech team was coached by Mike Leach. And that was the mm-hmm. one where, like, the, the FPI gave them a 96% chance to win the game or something, and you had the Ole Miss player holding the dry erase board up on the sideline that was like 96% said we couldn't, they were all wrong. Yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. Texas Tech Texas jumped Tech out early not, in that they, game, yeah. and then Ole Miss and then just, just flipped a switch and beat them like a drum for the rest of the day. Yeah. They just have trouble putting a team – that lost to Vanderbilt. I understand there's, that they got better as the season long went along, but yeah. If you were, ha, what form was this team in at the end of the oh, season? They, that might be number oh, one. They lost to Vanderbilt. Hmm. Yeah. So sputtering out of the gate would be putting it mildly. Yeah. It, it was not good. Yes. At, at, but that, you remember that was the transition year. That was from from Ed Ogeron to to Houston Nutt and. Uh, yeah, that Florida game is sandwiched in between a loss to Vanderbilt and a loss to a really bad South Carolina team. Yeah, it's weird. Jeez. Mm. Both of which at home, by the way. All right, Oof. so here's my order. I've got 2015 right. Ole Miss, 99 Mississippi State, 03 Ole Miss, 08 Ole Miss, 2014 State, 2021 Ole Miss, 2014 Ole Miss, 98 State. There's another state when I'm missing there. Uh, 10? 2010, 2010 State. Okay. And then 92 Ole Miss. So mine is 2015 Ole Miss, 99 State, 14 State, 21 Ole Miss, 98 state. You got you got to have the, the there's one team on this list that played I know, in but they you won eight games. All. I know they lost. I know they yeah, they won eight games in an 11 game regular season. They lost the they lost the eventual national champions in the SEC championship game and they lost to Ricky Williams playing his final college game ever in the Cotton Bowl. I can forgive it. I can they forgive. They lost it. five games that year. I get it, but they won the SEC West that year. And it, they were 6 and 2 in the West. They weren't. Yeah. A lot of people think they had three losses. They lost a non-conference game to Oklahoma State that year. Yeah, I have them fifth. I have ninety-eight okay. State fifth, 
0-3 uh, Ole Miss 6, 14 Ole Miss 7, 10 Mississippi State 8, Ole Miss 8, 8 9, and 10th is uh, 92 Ole Miss. Yeah. So we got a little, little mix up there in the middle numbers. Yeah. Ceasefire text line is open to you at 601-879-4395. Dwight says the SEC West sucked that year. And Arkansas old, was the, the best team in the West for most of that year. Yeah. 2008 Ole Miss beat the national champs. They did. They did. It's the Tebow cry game. It's a plaque outside what of the game swamp. game is the Tebow crying board? game? Come yeah, on. True. Jason says, I don't understand your logic, hey, Dad. It's a five-loss team, three of them completely non-competitive. A state's best team because they won an uncharacter- uncharacteristically bad SEC West. Well, I don't have them as their best team. I have them as their third best team. But yeah. they won the West. I mean, yeah. say what you want about anything else. They did it, and nobody else on this list has done it. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't, I'm not disagreeing with you. I, like, I completely get that. But they lost five games. And so I just they think there are other t- – I, I understand that they have an accomplishment that no one – I mean, let's like what you said a second ago. The 2021 Ole Miss team could be number one overall if they had won the Sugar Bowl. But mm-hmm. they didn't. It was an ugly end. And I've got them at the other six thing to consider, on that list. The other thing to consider is this is a – you know, back in the 11-game schedule. So if this team plays – Oh, 12 game schedule like we do nowadays. They're playing some other terrible group of five team, and they're nine and three in the regular season. Does that change it for you if they were nine and five? Eh, maybe. No. I mean, look, you're you're just looking for a reason to argue when you say, "How are you going to argue about a state team that won the West?" Ole Miss will go down as the only team in the West history never to have won the West. No, no kidding. Like, I get it, right? Ole Miss never been to Atlanta. Congratulations on knowing that. You and everybody else that lives in the state of Mississippi knows that. There are a couple of pretty good opportunities. They didn't get it done. That's not the point. I ranked the 98 state team eighth, which is a good spot, by the way. It's still in the top ten because they lost five games. Five, five times that year, they went to sleep as the team that finished second place in a game. We'll be back. Seven nine four three ninety nine five. If you want to uh, jump in the conversation, let's start with this one. Hey, Dad, on the, uh, the it feels like the ninety eight team is the team for Mississippi State is the one that we're arguing about, like their placement. I've got yeah. them eighth on this top ten list of the last thirty years, mm. and. You've got them, what, fifth? Fifth. So here's somebody says, I agree with Haydad. Would you not put the 2022 Ole Miss baseball team in the top three teams in program history? Um, You mean the team that won the national championship? Yes, I would. And you responded, yes, exactly. So despite there being... 10-plus Ole Miss baseball teams with better regular seasons. They trumped them all due to the natty. Same argument for 98-99 state football team jumping over teams that didn't win their division. No, it's not. It's a division title with a loss in the conference championship game versus winning the whole freaking thing. You're not comparing apples to oranges. You're comparing apples to Volkswagens. Like, I may be wrong in the argument, but I'm not wrong for your reason at all. Don't be. Um, it's a shame y'all talked about all those Houston nut teams and no one dropped a 50 in there. No, the best moment We're is him claiming that. We're only talking about 30 that, years, not 50 years. No, the, the 50's the goofiest one, but him claiming that his freshmen were the ones that were reading Neil McCready's picks behind a paywall and not him or his brother or anybody on his staff that – I don't read your stuff. My freshman brought it to me. Yeah, sure. 18-year-olds are subscribing to paywalled message boards. Sure, Houston. Sure. Yeah. Why not? I love this question. Of all these teams, what was the best offensive unit and what was the best defensive unit? So we've had two in the playoff era number one scoring defenses in college football, correct? 
One at State, one at Ole Miss, right? I think State and 18 was the number one total defense, too. I could be wrong. And then Ole Miss in 14. 2014, Ole Miss Mm -hmm. was the number one scoring defense. 99 State was the number one total defense. Total and scoring. Yeah, to yeah, to the me, the 99 defense for State probably is the answer to this question. Let me find the number here. The 99 State team, the most points they gave up in a game that year was 22. They held to one to, to Kentucky. Only two score teams scored 20 or more, Ole Miss and Kentucky. And that was the Tim Couch, Hal Mummy, Kentucky, right? Well, that's Dusty Bonner, but yeah, Mummy was there, yeah. Oh. Okay. Is that the year Couch, Couch got drafted the year before? Is that right? Yeah, he was the first pick of the 99 draft, yeah. Um, What else, what else, what else? Oh, best offensive unit. <sighs> 15 Ole Miss would be – it has to be in the conversation. I don't know if they're at number 15 one. 15 Ole Miss or 21 Ole Miss. I'd have to go – I don't have the numbers in front of me. Yeah, I think it's that 15 Ole Miss team. Right. Only it. Johnny Manziel had a more productive total yard season – then Chad Kelly in SEC history. Yeah. I think that's been broken, but after that season, only Manziel had more total yards in a season than Chad Kelly. Yeah, I think Joe Burrow like ripped everybody's records apart in that yeah. one season. Yes. Like if Burrow you made it if, untenable. Yes. If you had an offensive record in the SEC prior to twenty twenty one, you don't anymore. You're down to you don't have a, if it's a, sing, a single season now a career yeah, yeah, you can yeah, still yeah. get there yeah, but sure, single sure. season pet you're a quarterback now you, you're just out of luck uh Lucas and Union an old miss guy ranking a rival team who won their division as eighth is on par for old miss people if old miss finished with five losses but won the west Richard would have them much higher than eighth <laughs> you can label me the old miss guy all you want like, that, that's fine. That's, that's what my diploma says. I've worked for him for a long time. I live in Oxford. Fine. I'm like, by definition, you have a tattoo? I'm an oldest guy. I do not have a tattoo. I, I genuinely to tried to sort through all of these teams and, like, order them in. I mean, if I had some agenda, I wouldn't have the 99 Mississippi State team as the number two best team of the last 30 years in the state of Mississippi. I don't. Um, so uh, the, the reason I have the 98, th- th- there are two reasons that I have 98 at number eight. Reason number one is they lost five games. There are five losses. Reason number two It was a process of elimination, and I only had two slots left on the list. As I took all the teams that we were picking for and was trying to order them, I was like, well, this team's better than that. I'd put this team ahead of that. I'd put this team ahead of that. And and so I had eight and nine left on the list. And so I put 98 Mississippi State at eight. Because I didn't didn't think they were – I didn't think they were better than the 2014 Ole Miss team. I didn't think they were better than the 21 Ole Miss team. I didn't think they were better than the 2014 state team or the 08 Ole Miss team or 03 or 99. And now I will readily admit, and I I did it at the time, I understand that I have the 08 Ole Miss team as an outlier. Like, I get that. Here's the thing. I saw all that stuff with my own eyes, like up close and personal. Like, I went to Baton Rouge and watched Ole Miss empty Tiger Stadium for a 2.30 CBS game with like 12 minutes to go in the game. Complete and total domination. We talked about what they did on Thanksgiving night. I, I don't know. And then and then what they it did. Wasn't in Thanksgiving. The, it, was it a Saturday night? I believe it was a Friday. 
but Friday at night. No, 2008 Egg Bowl? Friday, early morning, 1121 JP. In Starkville. Oxford. In Oxford. Okay. I'll take your word for it. You know, you'd think I would be the one who blocked that game from his memory, but it's it's, it's not. Still crystal clear for me. Okay. Uh, I love this one. I love this message. This is getting boring. Okay. Sorry. Let's, let's do worst, do worst teams, teams tomorrow. tomorrow. That'll be a that'll be a far more heated discussion. We got some real contenders. Oh uh, man! I'm just going to tell uh, you, my top two would be uh, eleven Ole Miss, and I'm between 07 Ole Miss and 03 State. Eleven Ole Miss was two and ten with the loss to Jacksonville State. Mm-hmm. Seven Ole Miss was Ogeron's last year. Well, they went winless in the conference. And LSU took a knee at the five-yard line or the one-yard line or the three-yard line that's, with that's like 11. seven minutes that's to go. That's 11. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course. Yeah. Okay. How's that that game? What do you want me to do? Yeah. Dan in Hattiesburg, he says, hey, just for kicks, would the 97 Southern Miss team make this list? Well, 97 Southern Miss. You got to give me a second. Let me uh, let me look them up. Is that the team that won? That team finished nine and three. Who were their nine? Uh, wins? I don't know that they had any. Looking at it, they lost. They beat Illinois. They won at it, but that's an zero and eleven Illinois team. They lost to Florida and Alabama. Who else did they lose to? And to Tennessee. All those games on the road. Hmm. 2000 team beat Alabama 21 nothing. I was at that game. Yeah, if I was, was going to put the year a, they a won at Nebraska play. and at Alabama. That did, that just make that up. No, it's it's not that year. I'm, Nebraska was that's further down the road, I think. 2004 they won at Nebraska. The the, the Southern team that probably is going to make would make this the, the cut here 2011 when they went 12 and 2. And won the conference USA championship. Ninety nine, they were nine and three. Um, there's another one there. Ninety seven, they were nine and three and won the Liberty Bowl. So, yeah, all right. 